Chevron Oronite is a developer and marketer of fuel and lubricant additives with a global network of manufacturing facilities. In Singapore, the manufacturing plant is the largest of its kind in Asia. Commissioned in 1999, it's located on the Jurong Island Chemical Hub. Over the years, we invested a lot on our operational excellence because we believe that uh, everyone who comes into the plant every morning can go back safely in the same physical condition. And this is what our values and who we are. And we also believe that reliability in the plant is very important because uh, once we commit to production and delivery, we make sure that uh, we meet the commitment. And in the areas of efficiency, it relates to energy uh, efficiency and also waste minimization. And this is part of our contribution to sustainability. We make sure that uh, we are efficient in how we utilize natural resources and minimize uh, the waste that we uh, produce in the plant. And as the more we learn about digital technology, the more amazed we are. And we do believe that in order to make the next leap in terms of uh, operational excellence, Digital transformation and digital technology will probably bring us there. And we develop a roadmap in terms of our digital transformation. Safety is a core value in Chevron. We look at means and ways and improving accessibility to the high-risk land areas. Physical fencing of the facility may not be appropriate because it will prevent access to evacuation. So we have to look at the different uh, solutions. There are additional challenges that we have to overcome, such as controlling uh, access to areas when there is high-risk operations. In addition, we want to make sure that if uh, there is an injury, the injured person can notify us uh, on their location, as well as for us to be able to locate uh, unconscious uh, individual in the case of emergency. To solve these challenges, we look at several alternatives and options and consider that uh, real-time locating system RTLS is the best solution. So in summary, RTLS, which is part of our digital transformation journey, has helped us in a few ways. One is to make our emergency response process more robust and efficient by ensuring that we actually know where to locate uh, injured person or unconscious person. Second, uh, we also have control of uh, high-risk activities to ensure that people or employees and contractors are not in the wrong place at the wrong time. In the past, conducting steam survey has been a challenge due to the big amount of steam trap that is available in the plant. The wireless acoustic sensors is then installed onto the steam trap various locations and the data is then fit into the analytical software to provide continuous monitoring of the steam tech conditions. As a result of digital transformations using energy management applications, we are able to detect steam track failures and replace steam track early to reduce steam losses, resulting in energy saving. In the past, we rely on portable tester to do the manual vibration data collection. But this is not an efficient way to detect the early sign of problem. And furthermore, this requires expert know-how to interpret the data accurately. Integrity management relies on manual portable tester to do the UT measurement on site. But the downside of this are test locations sometimes cannot be repeatable, especially when you have different inspectors to do the job and infrequent data collection. This can end up with the inaccurate determination of the corrosion rate and the remaining life of the equipment. Since we are deploying into the wireless infrastructure, by leveraging on this, we can simply install additional sensor to do the vibration monitoring wirelessly. The vibration data will be wirelessly transferred to the vibration analytics software that allows the engineer to do further assessment based on the data. Several corrosion sensors were installed on some of the selected critical pipes and integrated with the corrosion analytical software. We have improved the plant reliability and integrity as a result of the digital transformation on how we maintain the plant. We are able to better predict the failure of the pump and compressor and take early action against it. This has helped us to reduce the plant downtime and the repair costs in long term. We are able to better predict the failure of the pipe and vessel 
and more accurately prediction of the corrosion rate and the remaining life of the equipment. At the same time, this helps us to optimize the piping replacement. Previously, while working in the field, technicians need to come back to the control room to draw the pen ID and verify the line, and they need to go out again, and this is time consuming for them. Another example is when people go out to the field and they encounter some issues with some of the equipment. They need to come back to the control room, raise SAP, notifications, and all those things. But they need to come back to the control room and verify, and this is also time consuming and time is wasted on them. We purchased many hazardous certified tablet suitable to use in our plant. This connect to Wi-Fi network in the plant, and they can run software and access to the web server. They also open documents on the go. These tablets come with inbuilt camera so I can take videos or photos. As a result of digital transformations of operations, workers in the field become more productive because they can spend more time in the field. Digital transformation of uh, field work in maintenance and operations, uh, we need data access to IT systems. So when you talk about IT systems, it's about the SAP system, process and the project documentation work. IT is still responsible for supporting the IT infrastructure and ERP. Nevertheless, we use the Purdue model as a point of reference. That's where OT and IT integrate at level 3.5. Yes, I agree with you, Vic. Uh, IT and OT have our own area of expertise and domain knowledge, which we can leverage upon and uh, work collaboratively. The department are independent, but they work together on the digital transformation project. The key is understanding the differences and leveraging on the expertise of each other. We have taken a first step in digital manufacturing by installing the right infrastructure to improve safety, reliability, efficiency, and productivity. In fact, we have plans uh, in place to expand our wireless coverage throughout the plant. In my opinion, key to successful digital transformation started with small steps to address business needs. Having said that, I think having a partner that we can believe and trust to deliver the results and providing the solution to our needs are very important. And we were pretty fortunate that Emerson was pretty understanding, they know what our needs are and they are very fast going out there looking for a solution that we can trial in the plant. So, like I said, finding a credible and effective partner is very useful. With Emerson's plant web, you can harness the power of digital transformation and industrial IoT. At Emerson, we're ready to put our industry-tailored experience and solutions to work for you.